This is Ryan speaking. Uh, yeah, is this a web designer? I'm sorry? You're a web designer? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I have some questions for you. I called somebody else, but it, it, he was just another assuming sundry, perfects the product type person. So I'm hoping you're better than him. I don't want to be screwing around here. I want some professionalism. Uh, I need a website to, uh, created for me if, if I could. You, yep. you can do that. I'm desperate for this site to be up. Uh, it needs to be an immediate situation. <clears throat> okay. Uh, are you, do you have any speaker phone having trouble hearing you? Ah, uh, no. But, uh, you know, if I don't want to wait till March for this thing to be up here. Can you hear me right now? I mean, this needs to be up this month. Well, yeah, anything can be done with enough resources. <laughs> but uh, I need to know a little bit about the project. Give me uh, one moment. Okay. Let me just see one thing I'm doing here. All right. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the site and what you're looking for. Well, basically, it's a site about pet adoption. I'm looking to uh, have these these pets escape China where they are being butchered and sold as meat. We are going to bring them to the United States and uh, adopt them via this website. That's that's okay. It. And where there's some movie projection going on on this site where you could actually watch these animals being saved, brought over on a plane from China here to the States. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <clears throat> you know, they, uh, you know, there's going to be some ringing probably there, you know, phone calls being made. We actually want to play the phone calls that we're, where we call China to acquire these animals and bring them over here. There's going to be some guinea pigs. Uh, to not just dogs, dogs, guinea pigs, cats, all kinds of animals being rescued from China. No refusals. They're gonna. There's no refusal via the telephone. We're going to hopefully okay. when we get these calls, everything's gonna be good. Um, snail. I would even rescue snails, perhaps all animals. I'm very caring. Okay. So, that's what the site's basically about. It. Adopting all kinds of animals, guinea pigs, snails, anything that needs rescuing from China where they actually turn these animals into food. But we're going to adopt them out via this site. I got a chemist on board. He's going to make sure that they, they have not been poisoned or anything like that before we actually put okay. them up for adoption. <clears throat> so that's the case. Okay. So, all right. So now I think I have a better idea of what exactly you're looking for. Now, you said you want this up by March, like March what, March 1st or March 31st? Just the end of March, uh, you know, I have because I have my electricity till then, and then it gets cut off if I don't pay the bill. So, uh, yeah, just so till the end of March. That way I could see that it's up and running before I move into my new place at the end of the month. Okay. Um all right, so I need to know a bit more about the site in terms of the functionality. So I understand you're going to have, like, the adoptions and stuff like that, so you're going to need some sort of CMS or a content management system where you can actually go in and upload uh, the content for the actual, like, in other words, uh, upload a picture or a description of the animal type thing. I don't know, uh, let's say it's a dog, yeah, that sort of stuff. Well, I have, okay. a, I have a coworker here who binges and purges food. Sometimes she'll purge, throw up on the keyboard, so I don't, I, I got to, excuse me, I got to, yeah, Get away from the keyboard one second. Go to the bathroom. All right, one, I'm back. You know, she makes a good effort, but again, she's not all there mentally. Now, now, go ahead. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that for me? Uh, I didn't quite hear what you were saying. I'm having a lot of troubles hearing you on over the speakerphone. Oh, sorry. Uh, you know, I'm willing to repeat that. I, oh, again, um, I had a coworker here. She binges, purges. I told her to go to the bathroom to do that that nonsense. I'm trying to conduct a uh, telephone situation here. To get this website up and running, yeah. So, okay. Um, so, anyways, um, okay. So you're gonna have the, in terms of the, uh, so you're gonna have the, the place where they can actually upload the, the photos and whatnot. Uh, now, is there any? I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Oh no! It, what payment is involved here? I mean, how much are you charging for this site? Uh, well, I need to know, I need to understand more about it. Typically, most websites that we produce, they're in the neighborhood of five to ten thousand dollars. Um, it all depends on what you're looking for. I mean, there's many a site that can go way above that. It all depends on how how much functionality and how how far you want to go with it. You know what I'm trying to say? I'll like, I, I'm guessing. You well, I'll tell you this: my bank account goes to infinity and beyond, so I, no, price is of no object to me. Okay. 
Well, basically, like I said, it, it all depends on do you want a, a custom design? Do you want it to be something, uh, you know, how far do you want to take it? You know what I'm uh, trying to say? Like, yeah. that's, that's what I need to understand. I need the modules, lots of modules, lots of functionality, you know, pages, sure. whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so so far what I've got here then is we're talking, you, I understand the whole adoption part of it, but what else is there to the site? Are you going to have a, a sort of history or like an about us type thing? Well, you want to have, yeah, con oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, we're going to breed these animals, so anybody who wants to buy, like, uh, for instance, if one's pregnant gives birth, we're going to have them breed fruit. I believe fruit will be a subsection. We're going to talk about all the kinds of fruit that maybe uh, some of these animals eat, bananas, apples, oranges, whatnot. Maybe give some fruit okay, around. So, so let me, so I'm just trying to think of the way to word this. Really, uh, almost like a pet care section where they can actually find out, okay, look, this sort of animal, the, 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 you know, do you have some sort of exotic animal or something? This one, it needs to have this sort of banana or whatever the case might be, whatever sort of food, right? So pet care, really, that would be yeah, appropriate. Yeah, but they got right? to keep, keep these animals forever. We're going to make that, you can't take them and give them away. Once you take them, it's forever, like marriage, like having a child. We were, fun. we're serious. Oh, yeah. no, serious. I understand, and that's and that's something you could say when you actually, and that's another thing. Where really, when you're actually talking with the design of the site, it should be very um, straightforward. That like you should put across the idea. That, look, this is something that you're taking responsibility. This isn't something you you, you do lightly when you're bringing this sort of animal into your home or whatever the case might be. Uh, you know, you're responsible for it now. It's like a family member, right? So yeah. what you really what you're going to want, I think, is you're going to want a section that kind of talks to that about that you're going to want some sort of page on the site that basically um i'm just trying to think of the best way to word it but it's almost like a you know a responsibility to the animals right <laughs> exactly so. i just want to say right now though you're a cumulative you're cute you're your cumulative philosopher pinks and interrupted alcoholic i'm just sorry that's i was talking to my again my co-worker she's an alcoholic she interrupted yet again no go ahead okay um so anyways, the responsibility towards the animals. Um, you know, the, the better way to do this, maybe, quite frankly, is, is if maybe you send an email off and you really describe what exactly, you, what sections you're going to want for the site. Well, like, I'm just, like, I'm just kind of getting a couple ideas, but, you know, you're going to know a lot better than I would in terms of what you want on the site. Yeah. Do you have a rough idea of what you're looking for? Or? I'm looking for Moorish Bash, really, some Moorish Bash. I'm oh, sorry? No, go ahead. No, an email sounds good. Yeah, that's I could I could fire that off. Specific with specifics yeah, about what I want. Because I'm just thinking, like, if you, if you can give an email describing what you're looking for, <laughs> you know, giving an outline of the different sort of features of that, it gives us a baseline to work off of instead of just kind of you know throwing ideas out there. Because I can get a better idea, you know, if you take 10, 15 minutes and really just outline the different sections of the site and the different functionalities you want. So, for example, if you were to say to me. What I want is, uh, you know, I want these 10 different pages on the site. On, for, and for this page, like, let's talk about the, the pet uh, responsibility sort of thing, like right. uh, in terms of, um, you know, owning a pet sort of thing or caring for a pet. Uh, you could actually say, like, look, these are some of the things you're going to have to understand or you're going you're gonna to have to expect. You're going to have to expect these animals. They're not your, your typical animal, perhaps. You're going to be dealing with rescued animals. They might be, you know, having sort of behavioral issues. They might not necessarily behave the way... You know, you would think a traditional pet would. So exactly. these are the sort of issues you might want to throw out there when you can when you can kind of give people that heads up, right? And that's the sort of thing. If you could do that for each page of the site, that's going to give us a much better idea of one where the site direction is going. Yeah. But two, how much is it going to cost? Because if <clears> you know, once we actually figure out what you need, we can actually say, okay, this is this is going to take X amount of hours, and then we can go from there. You know what I'm uh, trying to say? Uh, yeah. Also, I can tell you about the configuration. I'm thinking if we use some Google AdSense on perhaps like dildos, something like that, that will draw people to something sexual to the site. Perhaps that will encourage people to again adopt these animals. I'm sorry. What? No, I was, I, was talk, I was talking about if we use some Google AdSense there on the page referring to maybe a, possibly a dildo, some sort of sexual situation, it would draw attention to the page, right? Sex sales, that's what I always learn. I'm going to guess this is a prank call. Uh, you know what? It's, on the, sir, it's it, that, a prank call. You're misreading me. I'm very serious. I'm just, I want as much attention to the site as possible. I just think that's the wrong way about going, going about. So, you know what? I'm going to have to respectfully decline. Um, I would say your best bet 
you know, I, I don't think you're going to find really what you're looking for. Well, I'm not I playing right now. Here, sir. I'm not playing around. I'm very serious about saving the animals. So just so well, I'm going to be honest with you. When someone says something like that to me, my initial thought is, you know what? The free consultation has ended. If you're very serious, we could set up a consultation and I can bill you for that advice. But when right. someone starts talking about that sort of stuff, immediately I have to shut down the conversation. That's just unacceptable. Um, right. I mean, like I said, if you're very serious, yes. I'd be happy to provide further consultation. But we're going to have to set up a billing system. I, I cannot provide that for free anymore. I don't know why you're getting defensive, sir. I'm just trying to set up this site. Hello? Listen, listen. I, I've made my terms very clear. When someone starts talking, anything sexual related yeah. to as far as Internet development is concerned, yeah. we don't handle that. Uh, that's not our business. Yeah. Uh, like I said, if you are looking for advice further, be happy to provide it, but we're going to have to set up uh, and we're going to have to invoice you for that advice. I have to see that you're serious because right now it sounds to me like it's a prank call. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> it. I mean, it may not be. But when someone starts talking like that, that's that's my first thought immediately. I see. So uh, that would basically be it. If you're if you're willing to provide uh, <laughs> your, your credit card information, we can move forward. Otherwise, I don't think so. I see. I see. Okay. Um, I will email you the information, and then we will go from there. Okay, then. Better. Good. Okay. So you have the email? Uh. Yeah, I will get it. I'll go ahead and get that imperial situation off your website, and, and then we'll go from there. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.